Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is my team, Corpus India, Ravi Roshan and myself. And today we are back in again one of the interesting video again. So my team, let's dig into it. So Roshan, you can probably start. Yeah, hi guys, Roshan here. So basically we, we have started a new uh, series in which we will uh, try to show you guys what are the free uh, chess softwares that you can use to improve your games. Uh, disclaimer here, we are not saying that uh, these are better or these are worse than the paid software. There are definitely paid softwares out there that you should consider buying because obviously they do come with a few more features than these open source software. But these are for people who are like us, who have played so many online games or, uh, or the kids who are starting out. Uh, they do not maybe not be financially stable or they want to use something which is free so that they can use it. So uh, we we uh, we are casual players. We have been playing so many online games, but we wanted to know is there something that we can use to improve our games. So here uh, we bring to you in the first part. Uh, we bring to you SCID uh, and so many other features, softwares which Ravi will explain. Okay, guys, uh, let's start out with SCID. Uh, SCID is Shane's Chess Information Database. It's an open source and free uh, application. Uh, for, uh, which works on a lot of the uh, uh, like uh, common OSs like Windows and Linux and also Mac. It was initially developed by Shane Hudson. That's why the name Shane's Chess Information Database. And then it was like further developed by Pascal George. Now, uh, so basically Shane's Chess Information Database was the initial, uh, uh, initial software, which was then uh, a lot of bug fixes were done on it. And uh, lot of new features were added to it and post that it became uh, Shane's Chess Information Database versus uh, PC. Uh, PC is because it runs on your personal computer. Uh, now uh, this software, this application as a whole has a lot of features and uh, it's very extendable in a sense that you can plug in any of the chess engines or any of the databases easily into it. Uh, you uh, like uh, uh, Roshan will show you in the video how he's able to plug uh, many databases and uh, um, uh, many of the engines to it. So uh, for the tech geeks out there, it was written in C++ and TCLDK. Um, uh, now let's go towards the installation of SCID versus PC on your uh, personal computer. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ravi. So basically, SCID versus PC will give you the interface and things. Base, we will look into the folder. For first of all, we go to the download section here. If you're using Windows, uh, uh, you can see the Windows 64 bit. You can use the .exe file and download it. So it's basically an executable file. So once uh, you uh, install it and once you run it, you will see something like this, which is a basic panel that you'll see. We will not see much of it, like it's just the basic panel that you would see and uh, there's not uh, there's not much that is there. Because it's as a software, it is just there and it comes with a lot of features. So you need to add a database. So let's look into how you can add a database. So here, the okay, database that we're using is Kesabase, okay? Kesabase has been uh, written specifically for SCID versus PC. That is uh, one of the reasons why we also recommend that you do the SCID versus PC. And because it is written in that format and this is also open source, as you can see, it is comes with a 441 MB. So you basically download this uh, Kesa base, this thing, and then you run it. So basically once you uh, download it and you have extracted it, you can see a Kesa base. Once the Kesa base is there, this, you can see it is an SI45. You just run this. It basically means it, it's a database. So once you run it, it looks something like this. So basically you can see here, it's all the games which are there in your screen, it has come up with this. So all the games which are there currently are there and it has been sorted by best. So it consists of more than 4 million games guys. And a very interesting features you guys can see in this would, would be a lot of uh, something known as tree window. For tree window, it shows that what are the moves have been done. Now here I've made the first move E4. So the E4, how many moves are there, you can see here. And how do you uh, start this is basically you you go uh, you go here to the window section and you click on the tree window and it comes here. And here you can move it to top, move to bottom, move to left, move to right. You can do any of these things. And if you click on the game, a particular game would uh, load up. That we will look in the other parts. 
Now, uh, one more very important to finish up all your setup is adding, after you've added your database, you've got your software, is uh, adding your engine. Because engine will, with engine, you can improve a lot. So where do we add engine? So uh, first of all, which engine that we want to add? So uh, this is the link, stockfishchess.org. All the links will be there in the description of this video for you to find out. This is, we are uh, installing the latest Stockfish here, Stockfish 12. Stockfish 12 and any laptop which you bought recently, let's say 2017, 2018, or which comes with Intel processor after 2030, you could, uh, you're safe to say that you can go ahead and download this. Once you have downloaded and you have saved it in a specific directory, go back to your SAID versus PC software, go to tools, click on analysis engines. Here I've already added. So here what you have to do is click on new, click on new, give yourself a specific name, go to the browse feature where you have saved it and then add it. Basically, let me show you uh, where I, I had put it. So here, uh, Stockfish 12 is there. You just click on this and open, and that's that's it. Uh, you can give a hotkey also. That will act as a shortcut for the engine. All right? So once that is done, if you want a Stockfish 12 to work at a specific position, all right? So you can just click here and say start. Right? You, can, you guys can see the engine has started. Now, uh, because I want to see the tree also parallelly, I'll just push this to move to bottom. And I can see here. So you guys can see E4 uh, for the uh, response to C5 and the engine lines are going on. And in the next video, we'll be seeing more of this and how you can prepare your opening repertoire and so many other cool features will be coming in part of the series. So stay tuned if you're, uh, and I pass it over to Rule now. So guys, with this, we have done with the first part. And so thank you guys. This is my team, Copy Chess India, signing off. And all your, all the details will be shared in all the links and details will be there in the description. Do check it out. And thank you guys once again. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye, guys.